TGR News, broadcasting from the State of Israel. Welcome back to TGR News. Hello, hello. This week we'll talk about uh, Prime Minister, soon to be head of the opposition, uh, Lapid, uh, asking for no, more, no less than anarchy here in the country. And uh, rockets started flying again from Gaza. But first, let's say thank you. Thank you for everything you guys are doing. It is such a blessing to everyone here in the state of Israel that you are helping here. I, I wish there was a way we could let you be a part of the, 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 the blessing more than what we do, even more than just showing these clips of, of passing the food out every week. Because if you would see what you're doing, it would just fill your heart with joy so much. It is such a beautiful thing helping the people here in the state of Israel. It really is a blessing. It's uh, it, it's just amazing what we're doing here together, feeding all these families. Uh, it's it, it's just it, I can't really put it in words. And like I always say, if you want to be part of this and you haven't yet, there are links below every video to the Patreon page or to the Support Us page, or you can just go to the GoldenReport.com and go to the Support Us page there and find any way that is best for you to be a part of this uh, wonderful thing of we're doing here in the state of Israel. And we don't ever forget, God promised He'd bless those that bless Israel and curse those that curse Israel. So it really is a wonderful thing we're doing here through your support, and it is all because of you guys. So we always say thank you, because you guys deserve it. It's a big thank you. So let's get started. Yeah. After the Knesset members that are going to be part of the new coalition started making their intentions clear, among the list, canceling the annual gay parade, getting tougher with terrorists, and many other plans, even uh, putting the Bible back in schools, and because Lapid tried to get the Bible out of the school, which thank God he wasn't able to do. Uh, like our kids, they still study Bible in school. The prime minister, of a, for not much longer, Lapid, made a speech saying how this new coalition has no respect for human rights and what a mistake the country made voting them in. That is an insane statement yeah. for a politician to say. It really is. He even went as far as to ask the mayors of the cities to refuse the changing back in schools, history and Bible and the final tests at uh, of the high school, getting all the where it's in actually the final the the actual final exam like the GED right yeah. to have the Bible and history. They even try to he even tried to take history out of the school. Yeah, history, Bible, literature, 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 literature. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, many important things, especially Bible and Insane. history of Israel. Yeah. It is so important for Absolutely. us to remember our where we came from or what you know. It is, it, and, and him asking the the people to ignore the laws and and go against the government is anarchy. He's asking for people yeah. to you know. I mean. I mean, what what kind of country would you have if every time the left wing got voted in, all the right wing people would just absolutely ignore and do nothing what the government says to do and and vice versa when the right wing the left wing do it when the right wing's in government the left wing just uh, just don't just ignore the laws and everything yeah. you, that, that, that's the beginning of the end of your country there is no more country there's no more there's no more government there's no more uh, anything it's just anarchy yeah it's crazy it's even going farther and calling uh, the new supposed to be uh, minister of education uh, homophobic and uh, racist, no racist, uh, sexist, 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 yeah, against women, and this is not true. The guy just wants us to remember our Judaism, where yes. we came from, and have, have some morals. Exactly. <laughs> That's the whole thing the guy's talking about. Right? Yeah, yeah. Well, anyway. Netanyahu will most likely ask for and receive an extension on the uh, president's recommendation to make a coalition for 14 days. Could be trouble in paradise, or maybe just his tactics. Yeah, I think it's more of his tactics. I think it's more of his tactics, but you never know. He could be having a hard time getting these uh, these people in line because the coalition we do have some pretty strong heads in there this time. Yeah, you know, with, yeah. With with uh, with some different ideas. So it yeah. could, but I think, like I said from the very beginning, I think he's just taking his time. Like you said, yeah. it's better for him to take his time. Yeah, and build a better, more stable coalition. So hopefully, we stick it for four years. Finally, yeah. it's been it's been years since we've had uh, a, a government for four years without having to go back to the uh, you know the voting booth. Islamic Jihad is uh, this week was threatening to attack 
after the IDF was able to arrest one and kill others near Janine in a gunfight. It, uh, if, if rockets start flying from Gaza now, Israel will have to no choice but to answer back swiftly and harshly. Yeah, this uh, in, in near Janine, there was a member of uh, Islamic Jihad, which is really strong in Gaza with Hamas. They're sort of kind of almost, I would say, in competition with each other mm -hmm. in Gaza. Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah. And uh, J uh, Hamas is much bigger and stronger than Islamic Jihad, but they're both in there. And um, and so to, to after we was a, we were able to arrest one of their uh, activists here in Israel, close to Janine, they threatened to uh, to uh, fire rockets. Yeah. Yeah, which they ended up doing. We'll talk about that. But if 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 they would ha go as to to start a new front and fire into our cities and like they have before. And Israel would have no choice but to go in and fix it quick. Yeah. Yeah. On Saturday night, around 7.30 in the evening, the Islamic Jihad fired a single rocket into an open field with no danger of hitting anything to see what the IDF will do. The next day, the IDF made an airstrike to take out one of the, their uh, rocket storage facilities. Yes. Like you said, we right away we have to respond and we'll did yeah we did so Cause right now with everything that's going on we can't we can't have that happening right now not like the, and they know they're not they're not stupid they know when to start something up and when not to uh and that's why they that's why they fired into so they did fire like they threatened but they fired so clearly on purpose out into an open field you know yeah. they, the the iron dome didn't didn't even get uh um Started up and yeah, triggered. It, and triggered mm -hmm. and there was no even sirens going on anywhere because it was so clear from the second they shot it that it was headed towards you know nowhere. Yeah. So it was just it was just uh you know. And we know they know where they should. Oh they yeah, yeah, now of course. Because they tell us we're gonna shoot in Jerusalem, we're gonna shoot in Tel Aviv, we're gonna shoot. Yeah, they know exactly accurate. where they should. Yeah, they're accurate. So you know they did that on purpose. At the beginning of the week, a terrorist tried to stab a police officer and then tried to take his weapon. The officer was able to stop him and shoot him before the Arab caught it could do any 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 real damage and go on and harm other people. It was uh, just another attack, random attack, you know. Like in late late like few years late, I don't know, five or ten years, right? Yeah. They just lonely wolves. Yeah, it's just. Uh, more and more every day, you'd see it everywhere. Well, on his way home from the Dead Sea area, a man fell into an ambush, in the in and the young Arabs put uh, burning tires on the road to stop him, and then come out to attack when he stopped. So, I'm, you know, basically, the guy's driving on a desert road, coming back from the Dead Sea, pretty, you know, not a lot of traffic. And he comes up and sees burning tires on the uh, on the road, which making making stop. him stop. Yeah. And they they had an ambush ready. I mean, they're getting more and more you know bold here. They had broken his car windows, but he was quick enough to get out of there in time. He uh, instead of getting in shock and not realize what's happening, and who knows how far they. I'm sure they would have killed him. Yeah. But they um, he was able to gun it and swerve around and get away and, and get out of there. With a with you know with some with some broken windows, messed up car, and yeah. uh, and the trauma, but, but alive. 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 Yeah. yeah, this is uh, this is just showing how they get more and more bold, and they're getting more and more tactical about it, and thinking about how to how to kill Jews. Kill, kill Jews. Yeah. That's all they that's all they want yeah. to do. Yeah. yeah, a group of young Arabs in the old city, Jerusalem cornered an old religious Jewish man and made him embarrass himself before they kicked him and hit him just to post it on TikTok. Yeah. I don't, I told you once, I, maybe it sounds really like harsh, but we can just close their uh, social medias. Like, you know, we do, so, we can do something to block their social medias from doing these crazy things because many of them driving crazy, shooting around, and attacking Jews just to post it on TikTok and make themselves like a hero. Yeah. So maybe when we reduce the, the popularity of it, maybe it will help too. I know it yeah. sounds like we, you know. Yeah, I, I don't know how you do that because, you know, you can't just, you can't 
Well, who, you're just everyone? You're going to take everyone off of what really needs to be done is the social medias that are attacking people like us uh, who, if we say the wrong thing and, and be a little bit too right wing or too conservative or and we get shut down off of uh, off of uh, TikTok and Facebook and, and YouTube mm-hmm. and everything else. Well, they all the and all those social medias need to do that. For the other side, that's but I don't yeah. see that happening. We don't own the social media, but maybe we can do like a kind of filter that the phones that uh, sell in here in Israel they can be like I don't know, I know man, I have crazy ideas. But. <laughs> <laughs> well, on Sunday, two car thieves ran the Ben Gurion airport checkpoint, causing the airport to go into emergency security mode. All the people were made to lay on the ground while snipers were above keeping watch. The two car thieves were caught, and everything went back to normal. You know, it was a, this, when when the airport, Israeli airport, is under feels like it's under attack. It has certain protocols it goes through, and there's no backing down from anything. They have to do it. So this is just two car thieves. It wasn't no uh, terrorist attack, but until they stop the situation, they don't know what's going on. So could you imagine going with your family and your kids, waiting in line at the check-in to, to get on the plane and everything, and all of a sudden you're made to lay on the ground for a couple hours, just lay flat on your belly on the ground, right? The whole, everyone, it's just... Yeah, it's like an action with, movie or something. With, with a guy with a mask, with a sniper rifle standing on a, above you, keeping an eye out, right? That's, yeah, that's... Uh, scary. Not, not a good way to, to start a trip, huh? Mm-hmm. Apparently, it's happened a few times here in Israel, and every time it wasn't a terrorist attack. It was just thieves trying, which is they just got mistaken because once you go into the airport, there's no way out. It just took a wrong turn is yeah. what they did. Yeah. yeah. Well, now the head of the opposition, former Prime Minister Lapid, gave no excuse for his actions that we talked about earlier this week, calling the people to act out and ignore the new coalition laws, They're basically anarchy like what we talked about. Instead, he said that if you call this mutiny, you haven't seen anything yet, saying that he's going to get worse and worse and ask people to, to even act out more and more against the government. Yeah. Well, he, have some, he has some support. It's, he's not alone. Yeah, he's got some support. But, I mean, at some point, you've got to, you know, the law has to come in. Mm-hmm. You can't be, be calling people to ignore laws and, and, and act out against the government and not have, you know... It's a treason. Yeah, it's treason. It's mutiny. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. That's... Yeah. Itamar Ben-Gvir, the new Minister of National Security and the head chief of police Shabtai, are not working well together. Seeing how Ben-Gvir has serious plans to take care of the Arab criminal problem, Shabtai seems not to like the work as well. He's, like, a little bit lazy. Yeah. <laughs> um, has been extremely weak with terrorists. Yeah. So I don't like Shabtai. I think he's the worst. I, I think he is too. First of all, he says outrageous things. He made a comment last year, I think it was, that the, the South is as safe as it's ever been. Mm. I mean, I, you can't, I mean, he's just so far away from yeah. reality. Yeah, this guy needs to be changed. We need a new chief of police here in Israel. Yeah. Uh, but Bingbir is also on the exact extreme opposite end of Shabtai, where he really wants to get some stuff done. Yeah. And he really wants to uh, straighten up the, some of the big problems we have here with Arab criminals and Arab terrorists. And because um, and, that's the biggest problem Israel has. You know, when you watch the news, if you, if you deleted everything from the news that was Arab criminal or Arab terrorist related, uh, we we our news would be pretty short, or we'd start having to talk about the good things that happen. Yeah, you know, <laughs> if they wanted to keep the news going every night, right? Yeah, because you know, yeah, praise yeah. the Lord, Israel. We are getting worse with the criminal. We're starting to get worse, more like America, but we're nothing like other other countries in the world. We uh, we don't really have that bad of a criminal. Yeah. problem we, yeah. we do have don't don't get me wrong we do definitely have but it's not like you hear in the states where it's always full of it on the news what's happened right a year more than a year ago when bennett came to the uh, government and he said he declared that he's going to clear all this criminal uh, you know problem arab problem in the negev and all yeah that. and he didn't do anything he and Shabtai just didn't do anything yeah, they didn't. Um, well, he well, made it worse, first of all, by giving them the negative so that they have free oh, range. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 
And also we have problem with our um, with our courts. They're just too easy. The laws in Israel are very uh, light with those criminals. Yes. Even when police catch them, they just release them with a warning or something. They, they do and they do nothing. Yeah. So yeah. of course they won't care. Well, on Wednesday, late, so pretty much uh, uh, towards the end of the week, Arabs attacked an IDF base near Hebron. They opened fire trying to kill soldiers. Not able, they ran, but were caught and neutralized on the spot. I mean, just moments later. Um, it's like we were talking about the ambush earlier this week. They're just getting bolder and bolder and, and getting more, you know, organized. They, yeah, more organized. Where they, I mean, just Arabs, Israeli Arabs, I mean, the Arabs here in Israel, right? Drive up to a military base and open fire. And, uh, you know, that's, that's war. You know, that's, that's like what country, when countries go to war, right? Yeah. It's getting worse and worse. But uh, hopefully this new government, as soon as we get uh, the coalition together and, and put in and swore in the new prime minister and the minister of security and the minister of foreign security and, the, and everything, and hopefully we'll, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll get things back on track. Yeah, maybe it will happen on Hanukkah. So it's going to be like yeah. a Hanukkah miracle. The Hanukkah miracle. Yeah. yeah so. That's a good idea. That'd be, yeah. That'd be nice. That'd be nice. Okay. Well, you got anything you want to say? No. No? No. Oh, you sure? <laughs> yeah, sure. Okay. Well, don't forget to join us on thegoldenreport.com. And until next week. Shabbat shalom. God bless.